welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you have started your holiday shopping and holiday festivities and all that fun stuff. Today I have a fun video and it's not one that I do quite often. Um, well, not a category that I like focus on quite often, but today's video is all about hair. I have this super cool product to try out with you guys. It is from the brand FHI Heat. Here they are here. Look at this packaging. It's so sleek, so cool. This is their The Curve Pro Styling Iron. Here it is here. So FHI Heat was so nice that they sent over this styling iron for me to try out and to let me know what I think and share with you guys what I think. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to, well, when I say we, kind of be me because I'm gonna be doing it, but in any case, whatever, we are going to be trying out this styling iron. I'm gonna let you guys know what I think of it as I use it and I'll just do kind of like a very simple beginner's hair tutorial with it. If you know me, you know that hair is not my strong suit. I'm actually quite terrible at hair. So I'm really hoping that this is easy to use and that it helps me out and helps bring my hair to life. So my hair is freshly cleaned. I actually just got it out of the shower a little while ago. I dried my hair. The only products that I used when drying my hair were this Red Ken Volume Maximizer and this Color Wow Dream Coat, which I use after every few shampoos. So that's all I use. I don't really use a lot of hair products, but I do try to try out different ones to see how I like them. Those I like. So we are going to try this out. Open it up. Hold on, let me make sure I'm opening it the right way. Here we go. So here it is here nice and sleek i love their packaging like this is so cool it looks so expensive like it looks like luxury so let's see what we got here so here is the tool here it's got a lock button on one side and then you can unlock it on the other side like that i guess for easy storage i think this is interesting this part right here will it make a difference when styling my hair i'm not really sure but since my hair is for the most part straight what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and curl it with this um, I don't really curl my hair with straighteners quite often, though this is called a style iron. So I'm thinking that you could use it either way. Let's see, let me plug it in and heat it up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clip up half of my hair to begin with so that I'm not taking on too much at once. So my hair is layered, like it's not, I'm trying to grow it out. It's not very long and it's layered kind of funny, so because of the way it grew in when I, like when I got a cut, it was layered really nicely, but as it's grown in, it's been kind of a pain in the butt. So while that heats, let me actually let my dog out real quick because he's hitting the doorbell and that'll drive me insane the entire time that I'm doing this. Okay, so first things first, that heated up incredibly fast and I'm just looking through the like instructions here. And it says here, brush through clean dry hair, which I did. Separate your dry hair into four sections. Plug in and turn on the Curve Pro Styling Iron Wand. Place a comb one inch subsection of hair between the ceramic plates starting at the root. And then it says for adding waves or curls, which is what I'm doing, gently close the plates over the strands and twist as your guide. For tighter curls, rotate the iron a full 360 with each stroke, and then repeat this process until your hair is fully styled. So that's pretty easy. Um, it has a little LED screen on it so it can tell you like what temperature the iron is at, which I like. That way I'm not burning my hair off. And then it even has in the guide here what kind of temperature you should have on your hair depending on, you know, your hair type. So I have pretty fine hair, I'd say. So it says to use between 320 and 340 degrees Fahrenheit. So when I turned it on, it was like the default was 355. So I'm gonna turn it down to 340. Since it's already heated up, it shouldn't hurt it at all. And let's try this out. So it went down from 355 to 340. So it must know those um, like guide points. So let's see, we, I've got my mirror to the left here or yeah, screen. My left, not sure, is it your right? Your left, whatever, it's my left. So I'll, let's see. Now I'm letting you know right now, I might not get it on the first try because I'm pretty bad at hairstyling tools, but let us see. Oh, okay, so that, I like that actually. That's actually a pretty nice wave. I'm surprised I was actually able to do that on the first try. 
Let me try some more. Well, actually, let me try this side so that it's within camera's view, and then I'll kind of like speed up the process and do parts that you can't see on camera. Let me try and make this one a little bit tighter. I will say that I like the kind of shape of this iron because it's easier to hold on to than one that is just straight up like flat. So that one was a little bit tighter, or a little bit more curly, curlier. I like this so far, this is nice. Okay, so let me try and do the rest of this like bottom layer of hair real quick, and I'll speed it up in editing. Okay, so I just put a few curls in the bottom layer of hair since that's not really what you see anyway. But so far, I really like it. I think that is very easy to use. And I'm really surprised that I'm able to get this on like the first try here because normally it takes me quite a few tries to make my hair look decent with a new tool. But in any case, I like that the curls aren't too tight. They don't look like, you know how sometimes if you do it with like a flat iron, the curls kind of like have kinks in them or look like kinky. The, these don't, like these look like nice, like smooth waves, which I really like. Okay, so I released this next layer of hair. It's so hard to like see in this tiny little mirror, but we're gonna make it work. I will just do the same thing. It's also harder to do the back of my hair. As you can tell, I'm just not good at hair. So having tools that make things easier is like a must for me. So this happens whenever I do my hair. This side tends to be less curly than this side. I don't know if it's because of the way that I part my hair or because I'm right handed and like the way that I twist the curls, I don't really know. But in any case, it seems to be holding true for this, but I like both sides, honestly. And then obviously when I brush them out, it'll look a lot better. So let's do this layer of hair now. As I get closer to the top, I feel like with any, tool that I use, the curls get better. Just cause it's easier for me to do my hair, I don't really know. So I feel like the vibe that I'm getting from these waves are like beachy waves, which I really like. I don't like the like really tight like waves, you know what I mean? That's a good one. This side, this is, this is my problem side. I also, I gotta say, like I really like that when I'm twisting it around the iron, I can grab onto the outside here and it's not hot. I mean, as you get further down, it's gonna be hot because that's on the other side of the hot plates. But up here, like you're fine to hold on to, which makes it really easy for, you know, to be able to hold the hair into the plates. Okay, so there it is all wavy. Let me just go through and I'll fix up any like pieces that I missed or any like stragglers or any that need to be, you know, fixed up. So there it is. I ran a brush through my hair to kind of like brush out the curls and make it look, you know, more natural sort of. What I will say is I feel like that definitely gave my hair a lot of volume. 
My hair is usually like flat to my head, but I definitely think that that styling iron gave my hair so much volume and I love that. I do like that the uh, waves or the curls aren't very like tightly coiled and that they are more of like a natural look. Um, it definitely is going to take some more practice to really perfect the wave, but that's gonna be with any tool. Like you're never gonna pick something up and you know, be able to perfect something on the first try. So that was my first try. I will say that I'm very impressed with it. I think that like the quality of the iron is really good. It feels very like a luxury and I love that. I think it would make a great Christmas gift or a holiday gift this year for somebody who is looking for a new straightener or curling iron or both because you can get both with that iron. So I think that's really great. I love a good multi-purpose tool. I'm definitely gonna have to try out straightening my hair because I think that it'll turn out really good with, as a straightener. So I'll definitely try that out and keep you guys updated on that as well. If you wanna learn anything more about the FHI heat the, uh, let me hold up the box for you, the Curve Pro Styling Iron. I will leave a link in the description below, or if you wanna learn anything else about FHI Heat, I will leave a link to their website in the description below. I'm very, very, very impressed. They also have other products. They have like a round brush hair dryer. They have a heating brush, which looks really neat if you have like curly hair, like natural curly hair and you wanna straighten it, I think that would be a great gift or like a great product to try. Uh, they have a lot of different hair styling tools which are very unique and awesome and they are very high quality which I think is awesome. So if you wanna check any of that out, like I said, visit the FHI Heat website which will be in the description. And if you like today's video, make sure you hit the red button down below, subscribe to my channel, click the bell next to it to be notified whenever I post and make sure you follow me on social media at Bree Cutter. And until next time, see you guys.